Hi, and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today, we are talking about a topic that upset the 3D printing community. We're talking about why 3D printing quality doesn't always matter. So stick around to make up your mind about these 3D prints and why sometimes functionality trumps aesthetics. So here's what happened. I was at the gas station taking my luxury coffee that I do sometimes each week when I noticed something interesting on the coffee machine. It was a 3D printed part. Naturally, I took a picture of it and posted it on 3D printing social media. The 3D printing community was really fast to point out everything that was bad about this print. Everything from surface quality to layer lines. And they all said that they would never deliver something like this. Now here's the thing, this is the 3D printing community. Everyone is highly skilled, has a trained eye to watch out for quality, surface deviations, and just print quality in general. But what about the average coffee drinker? Most people grabbing the morning coffee wouldn't even notice the 3D print, or even its quality. To them, it's just a functional part of the coffee machine that helps them get their coffee in fix. This brings us to the core thought of today's video. Functionality over aesthetics. In many cases, the primary purpose of a 3D print is to fill out some functional need. For example, if it's a replacement part, a prototype, or a tool, then the quality doesn't really matter. I mean, think about it. If a 3D print is designed to have a function, if it does that function, does it really matter how it looks? For most practical examples, the answer is no. The part's ability to perform is the most important thing. Now, I'm one of those design nerds who thinks that pure engineering can be incredibly beautiful. I mean, look at the SpaceX Raptor engine. The latest iteration is like minimized and it's so pure engineering. Everything is solved. There's so much thought going into solving issues that it becomes this beautiful product. I don't know about you, but I think those are beautiful. Let's look at some real world examples where functionality trumps quality when it comes to 3D printing. In industries like aerospace, automotive, healthcare, the function is primary. This part probably doesn't win any beauty contest. I mean, like a knee implant. It's not really beautiful, but it has a function. Even a difference in surface quality has a function. The ruggedness makes bone adhere to it better than the smooth surface, for example. So the next time you see a 3D print out in the wild, just remember that quality is subjective. What's important is whether or not the 3D print actually works. That coffee machine part might not be perfect, but it works. And for the 99% people that doesn't even notice it, that's all that matters. Just before I made this video, I actually got an answer for someone involved in the process. They said that there are hundreds of these coffee machines installed at gas stations, and the coffee machine had a fatal flaw. The interface was accessible for the customer. So a quick fix for this, instead of like injection molding some part that would fit over the control panel, they turned to someone local and they wanted something cheap, fast, and make sure that they could deliver all the machines before customers started to, you know, fill it with the settings. So they ordered probably from someone who doesn't even have a farm, maybe someone like me who has a few 3D printers and suddenly needs to deliver 200 or 300 or 500 models quickly. Then surface quality is prioritized down and then just print speed is increased. So there are trade-offs. And these panels not only could customers fill with the settings, they could actually ruin the machine, they could burn themselves, or even worse, they could ruin the coffee taste. I think a lesson is that behind every bad print, there might be a reason. So next time you see a 3D print out in the wild, remember that maybe it's part of a huge delivery and quality didn't really matter. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. There's so much more things coming from this studio and I want to share it with you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.